Hello, I'm Steve Chancer from Second Look Training and Forensic Consulting. We wanted to start this session with a concept that we use um, when we're teaching our investigating violent crimes, whether it's death investigation, adult sex crimes, or stage crime scenes. <clears throat> During our initial sessions with the class, we always ask, what would be the detective's response having received the 911 call to report a violent incident. And then we wait and we listen to the various students when they respond to rapidly uh, respond to the scene to set up security and they go through some other um, basic investigative steps, all of which are correct. And then we come back and we say that's all good. Um, every one of you is correct, but that's really not the first thing that you want to be doing when you're notified of a violent crime. And then we continue on. Because when you're notified of a violent crime, the very first step should be to literally or figuratively fix yourself a cup of coffee. After the laughter dies down, we kind of explain. When you fix yourself a cup of coffee, really what you're doing is you're getting yourself together. You're starting to formulate your plan even before you get to the crime scene because you're, you should be thinking about what equipment I might need, what potential problems might be at the scene, um, do I have enough people in order to process this particular scene. The concept is when you arrive at the scene, the last thing you want to do is arrive at the scene with your hair on fire because nervousness and anxiety are contagious. And if you as a detective show up and you're running around nervous and you're anxious or your hair's on fire as we explain it that's what everyone else is going to turn into okay they will do the same thing the thing to remember is it doesn't matter if you're a detective for five years or five days when you respond to the scene you're in charge everyone at that scene is going to be turning to you for directions what should they be doing and as long as you are cool, calm, um, everyone else is going to get that way, okay? The second question we ask along that same line is, okay, what's the most valuable piece of equipment that you can bring to the crime scene? And we listen to everything from alternate light source to flashlights to fingerprints. All that is correct. But the, actually the most valuable thing that you as a detective or even the CSI can bring to the crime scene is a clipboard. Yeah, a clipboard with sometimes even a single piece of paper on it. That's fine. And I use this all the time because this is how we, we would respond to the crime scene. I bring out my clipboard because when I've got my clipboard and I might or may not be taking notes, uh, for all anybody else knows, I'm jotting down uh, all my observations, but in reality I could be playing tic-tac-toe. It doesn't matter. What it does is it gives you a chance to calmly and coolly take a look at what's going on, right? And then what I, what I describe is, is that when I get there, I want everyone to look at me and say, man, he's as cool as the other side of the pillow, okay? And if he's not going to be panicked, and he's cool, calm, and collected, then we need to be also, okay? And that's the whole idea. And then eventually, when you're cool, calm, and collected, you can sit down and you can get your briefing as to what exactly that you're looking for. Okay? So those are the two of the most uh, key uh, concepts that we like to teach in our investigating the violent crimes um, in, our, uh, in our various uh, investigative courses. Um, if you need any information about our investigative courses, please go check out our website, www.secondlooktraining.com. And we hope to see you in a training class or in the next edition of our Few Minutes with Detectives. Thank you.